This is Eric Muada with Muada.com. Let's take a look at another wave cancellation example. And this one is slightly different. What we are looking at here is you'll find that stocks do sometimes give you long-term sell signals on the RSI and these sell signals stay in place over many weeks and even over months or even years as this example is going to show. We are going to show you that when the RSI usually breaks a trend line like in this case a break of that trend line is a sell signal and what happens is that this area now shown by the black line becomes an area to watch down the road because this could be where a stock would show you a resistance and since we are looking at the wave cancellation the thing to look at here is in this example we see that the stock went up down up and this is equal in terms of space and time to those two areas there so they cancel out so what the market was actually trying to do at the time if you understand the wave cancellation is go flat but instead of going flat the market did something like that which just ends up being a wave cancellation pattern now let's take a look at the example I'm talking about SSG on a weekly chart and what this stock did in late 2008 was a break of this trend line on the RSI here which happened to be a sell signal there the stock was trading at let's say about $500 on a split adjusted level that was a sell signal from the RSI break sell signal in price at about 500 the stock would go to drop as much as trading in the 40s now for the particular case of studying the wave cancellation now we move forward from late 08 to sometime in 2011 the stocks RSI would come back to this line here to this level which is a sell level or a sell signal area from previous experience and we are going to concentrate on that area August 2011 and this is what it looked like you can see in August 2011 the stock formed a wave cancellation here with this move lower above and back below as you can see so that was a wave cancellation which actually meant that the stock wanted to go flat here and then turn lower issuing a sell signal with that wave cancellation and so the stock was a sell somewhere here in the higher 60s and subsequently the stock would after the wave cancellation would give back a lot of the ground here and would see itself moving all the way to the lower 40 so a substantial loss because of that wave cancellation so again we see the usefulness in understanding what markets do in, in terms of trying to trick investors in and out of positions this is Eric Mwad with Mwad.com as always good luck we shall continue with this series peace and blessings